An eerie silence in the town of Woodsboro. Power lines and debris block access to homes in this cotton gin town an hour northeast of Corpus. It's, it was bad. It was rocking and rolling all night long for a solid 10 hours. Frank Linney and his dog Bear survey the damage to his neighborhood. The force of the hurricane ripped off his shingles. All you heard was a lot of noise. It was just really windy. Attention now turns to cleaning up. For Frank and Bear, it's hard to process. Oh, we're a good little community, you know. And we'll clean it up. It'll, it'll get done, but it'll just, it's just going to take a long time. Seeing the damage up close is one thing, but from a wider view, it's hard to take in. And this is my, the back, like I said, the back porch. You can't see it right now, but but inside my kitchen fell in. Jane Moya shows us the damage to her home of 10 years in Refurio. It's a disaster. I just need some, oh, just a disaster. It's hard for Moya to find the words. Pieces of her ceiling are on the floor. The kitchen partially collapsed. Devastated. I lost everything. Mm -hmm. I lost everything. It's a disaster. You know, my, I don't have nothing. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Shingles pop as we walk through her backyard. Shingles, small bits of the protection for her home were scattered about like random sticks. Like many of her neighbors, Moya said she could not afford to evacuate. How do you do that when you're poor, when you have no money? Some people got it made and some people don't. Moya will wait on federal disaster relief to rebuild. She has no homeowner's insurance. Maybe we can talk to FEMA and get it, get it, get an application going, you know, and see, I don't know. Refurio County is included in a federal disaster declaration for this storm. I just hope somebody comes out and help us. A waiting game neighbors may soon know all too well.